What's going on YouTubers? Today I'm bringing you another statue unboxing and review. And as you can see, this is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface Premium Format figure. And I did get the exclusive. Whenever there's an exclusive available, I always want to get it. So here's the box. Now sometimes exclusive's not necessarily amazing, but to me it's worth it to have the extra displayability as well as the resale value is much better on an exclusive versus a regular. Not that I plan to sell it, but I do like having the little extras, even if it costs a little bit more. We're gonna go ahead and open up this bad boy. I'm gonna be displaying this below Jason Voorhees. Uh, that was the plan. So. Looks like they also said product inside right here. Quite excited for this. I've waited about one year. So Sideshow did ship this in a reasonable time frame, I would say. And looking at the official picks, it looked great. Here's the base. Nice, good weight. Got that nice, fresh polystone smell. So I really, really love what they've done with these bases on this the horror line where they basically depict a killing scene from the movie and it is absolutely epic on the bottom texas chainsaw massacre leatherface i got 516 out of 1000 so there's 1000 of these bad boys made to the side so I can show you guys this properly so next I will go ahead and put some of the parts of the base in so here's part of the base looks like this goes on the back like so one more piece So I'm sure a lot of you have seen the new Wonder Woman on horse statue by Sideshow or by Prime One Studios. Now uh, I will say I was very surprised by the price. I did not think it would cost $3,600 plus shipping. I do find that ridiculously overpriced. So here's the exclusive, which is a hammer. Display anywhere on the base, part, right there for now. I mean, I will say this though, I honestly think it's the best looking statue ever made. That tops Wolf Predator for me, which is my current favorite statue. So, you know, even though the price is really overpriced, I love it so much. I know they're coming out with the Justice League version, but I honestly cannot think of a, a better statue of Wonder Woman, the likeness is so good. The base and pose, just everything, it's so good that I'm honestly gonna get it. And it might be the last statue I ever buy. If I, I told myself, if I get it, it'll be my last statue, a finisher, the ultimate grail to complete my collection. I mean, bear in mind, I still got 30 statues on pre-order, so this is over a year and a half away. But if I get it, it'll be the last one I get. So, I am uh, probably starting a new job here soon, and with it, they're going to give me a $5,000 sign-on bonus, and I'm going to put $3,800 in a CD, a one-year CD, and by the time it, you know, comes out, I'll have that money ready for the Wonder Woman statue. That's my plan. So I don't accidentally use that for other statues, I'm basically ensuring I will get that statue. I may still even get the Justice League Wonder Woman because I love Wonder Woman so much. I may just get two one-thirds. You know, to me, she's she's number two. With Scarlett Johansson being number one, she's number two most attractive human in the world to me. So here is the chainsaw. Let's see. 
wrapped it here to prevent damage. Nice of them to do that, just because this can be very, you know, these type of parts break somewhat easy. Yeah, so the chainsaw looks great. Gotta say, it's not the easiest thing getting this inside. So you gotta get through the garment and angled. Pretty sure it goes like this. I also have my cat and dog fighting over there, right in verse. Just about got it perfectly in. I think that's good enough. I may need to watch the uh, unboxing video to figure this out. This chainsaw is super cool, I won't deny that. Wait, I think it's like this. like that. Boom. Make sure that arm is in secure. Yeah, that was not the easiest thing to do. All right, let's get out the head. Oh, this head looks crazy cool. Look at that. Boom. Let me make sure the camera's still at 10. Yeah, with the stupid uh, Galaxy phone, after 10 minutes it stops recording. Freaking retarded. Let me make sure I get this in all the way because I don't want it to fall out. With these mixed media pieces, you really gotta watch. See that? I don't think it's in all the way. All right, there we go. All right, last piece is just the apron. goes over it. Oh, I may have to take this head off because it won't fit. And now you're supposed to tie it on the back. So it's an apron. You can basically, uh... yeah, so you can basically just fold that apron back so there is a wire. 
But here it is. Nice bloodied up apron from him killing people. Got the blood dripping down the face. Let's go ahead and put it in the collection room and take a look. All right, everybody, I just wanted to show you real quickly the three, you know, main horde pieces I really own, you know, which is the old Freddy, of course, the Jason, and then Leatherface. I got exclusive of all three. Now, they do have a new Freddy Krueger come out, but to be honest, I like this mine currently better. I like the pose better. The only thing I like better about the new one is the base, because the base does match, you know, Leatherface and Jason base, but to me, it's not worth 550 bucks to go ahead and get the new one, especially since I'm not displaying Freddy with them like this. This is just to show you all in the video size comparison, how they look. I will admit, this is freaking awesome. Super cool. But I will not be displaying it like this, just for the camera. You know, as you can see, Freddy's base is much smaller. But overall, it looks phenomenal like that. So let's go ahead and put them uh, back. All right, everybody, so here is Leatherface. Now let's go ahead and get into the review. First, let's review the base. So there's different scenes. Here you got a house. Here it looks like he stabbed some girl in the neck with a, almost like an iron thing. You got stitching across the base. You no, know, sort of similar to the stitching on his head. Here, using the hammer to kill this poor old lady. <laughs> I swear, this base is a masterpiece. It's effing awesome. The paint job's phenomenal. Here's Leatherface, sort of just like in his room where he has like all these weird heads. See, he's closing the door, it looks like. Got leather effect, wood. They really did a phenomenal job on this base. Here, freaking epic. You got, first off, like trees right here. The stitching. And then Leatherface using his chainsaw on this poor sucker. He's basically chainsawing him in the belly. You know, this is like a 3D. It's not like 2D. You know, it's like, you can see how that sticks out of the base. Looks super cool. Just like the Jason base, it's super, super legit. I probably like this base even more than Jason's. Got the creepy house, so it's super good. On top, you have sort of like this bone, sort of from his lair, this string holding it. You got feathers, all with blood, the exclusive hammer. You know, and then like this wooded floor. Blood dripping everywhere. Yeah, that's my puppy. Here's the shoes, which ha does have a weathered look. You know, like it's been dirty. And then this is mixed me, so this is all cloth right here. You know, and it lo looks just like real clothes, basically. And then there's his apron, which you can see the blood effect. Does have a glossy look, and it looks pretty good. You know, it looks like he's worn this apron multiple times to do many killings. It's not overly done. You can even see some blood on his arm in the shirt. You know, it's probably dripped from the chainsaw. Chainsaw has more dried up blood look. You know, not quite as fresh, like it's just been used multiple times to basically kill everyone. Chainsaw itself looks great. You can see this is where you would pull it. Got some dust here. The vent on it, it is uh, weathered. As you can see. Got a little piece of hair on it. There's the chainsaw look, so you can basically see it. And then, of course, the most detailed part probably is his face. His eyes, teeth. You know, his eyes look really good. Same with his teeth. You know, he has this buck tooth hillbilly retarded look. And then the mask sewn on. Even on top of the ears, you can see right there how it's tied together to the back part. His hair, you know, it looks super creepy and cool. Let's look at, uh, 
I love the pose they chose. You got this tie that you can has a wire in so you can use it. Here's the back part. More weathered look. Pants have a weathered look. Sideshow really did an awesome job. Those who are going to get this are going to love it. See the detail on the hand with the veins and the skin. You know, they really did a good job. Skin tone's perfect. It really does look just like the prototype. I swear, it's like 99% to prototype. You know, I mean, I think they did a better job on this than the Jason. So let's go ahead and put it in its final resting place. Now, it's definitely a really big statue. Totally worth the 500 bucks asking price. But let's put it in the final price. My puppy's barking at Melina. So hold on one sec. Alright, so this is where I'm going to place Leatherface. I basically got Jason up here with a Friday the 13th poster. I had that printed out at a local shop. Plus the movie. And then Leatherface movie, the Leatherface 3D one with Alexander Dodoria. And then Leatherface with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. That movie is the Jessica Bell version, which I actually do like the most of all the movies. She's sexy, she's tough, and it's great. So as you can see, it fits perfectly fine in a Detolf. So that's what I have him in, you know. And he doesn't look as empty as like some other 1-4 scale statues where it just looks like too much space is not being used. This looks perfect. He doesn't look too bad from down low. You know, I'd probably say he does look better up high. But, you know, it's not bad at all. Obviously, I can't see his eyes and whatnot as good. But Jason looks terrible from down low, so I'm going to leave it like this. This is part of my MKX slash horror. So I'm super happy to have Leatherface. Sideshow did a phenomenal job. Give it a 10 out of 10 ranking. Definitely jump on this if you uh, are a Leatherface fan or into horror. So there you have it, folks. Leatherface. Super, super cool. Like and enjoy and subscribe video is done it's not wanted to show you one last thing the lighting i forgot to turn on the light up so i do have uh lighting in here as you can see looks much better with lighting there you have it the lighting with leather face so you can see it better there you go just wanted to show you that see ya till next time